So this question, Fawaz, came from the AS paper from June 2018. So this was the 7126 um, AS paper, which has since been discontinued, but uh, still provides us with some valuable um, question material. So this is a question on provision for depreciation in T accounts and also the disposal of motor vehicles. So um, without further ado, we'll have a little look through this. So the bookkeeper for Fowers, a sole trader, has not completed all the ledger entries to close the books of account for the year ended 30th of April 2018. The entries in the provision for depreciation for motor vehicles account and the disposal of motor vehicles account are still to be made. The bookkeeper has provided the following information. So we've got an extract from what should be the statement of financial position, not the balance sheet, at the 30th of April 2017. So these are all the figures that are brought forward from last year. Motor vehicles cost 81,000, depreciation to date was 45,000, and the net book value 36,000 pounds. So the motor vehicles at cost would be a debit balance. We're not actually asked to do the motor vehicles at cost account, but we are asked to do the provision for depreciation. So the provision for depreciation, that's all the depreciation to date. So let's pop the opening balance in at the 1st of May 2017. Bow BD was £45,000. Okay. Um, on the 28th of April 2018, Fawaz sold one of the motor vehicles for £10,000 in cash. Okay, so that's going to be part of the disposal account. So we could pop that into the disposal account now. So let's just check the date, 28th of April 2018. So the double entry for that is to debit the cash account and credit the disposal of motor vehicles. So that's the sale proceeds. £10,000 in cash has been received there. So that's that one dealt with. The vehicle had originally cost 21000 and had a net book value of 9000 So if the cost was 21000 and the net book value was 9000 the depreciation to date is going to be the difference between those two figures, which is £12,000. So the 21000 cost minus the net book value means 21 minus 9 leaves 12000 That must be the depreciation to date. Okay, um, And he's also purchased a replacement vehicle paying £24,000. Okay, so... Let's just think about this then. So the original cost of 21,000 is going to need to come out of that figure. So we're going to minus 21,000. If we had the T account, that would be a credit. So 21,000 coming out of there. And then we're going to debit it into the disposal account. So on the 28th of April, we've got the motor vehicle at cost. Do, 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 original cost 21,000 thousand pounds okay so that's that's come from there so that's dealt with so we've credited the cost account debited the disposal account we also need to get rid of any depreciation so the twelve thousand pounds is included in that forty five thousand so on the 28th of april 2018 off to the disposal account we've got twelve thousand pounds worth of depreciation the 28th of april 2018 motor vehicle provision for depreciation, £12,000. Okay, so now we've got the cost of the vehicle and the um, provision for depreciation, the difference being the £9,000 um, net book value. We've actually sold it for £10,000. So in this instance, when we get to the end of the year, 30th of April 2018, we're going to be making a transfer to the income statement of that difference of £1,000. So the whole purpose of the disposal account is that the two sides need to add up. So we've got 22000 on there. The account needs to balance with no bow CD. That transfer to the income statement is the profit on disposal of £1,000. So the difference between the net book value and the sale proceeds. If we go back to the, the question, it tells us that FAWAS depreciates motor vehicles using the reducing balance method at the rate of 33 and a third percent per annum. So remember, divide the net book value by three. Don't try and do 33 and a third in your um, calculations. He charges a full year's depreciation in the year of acquisitions when we buy the assets and none in the year of disposal. Now we need to take into account the fact that he's bought an extra vehicle costing 24 thousand pounds. So what we need to do in order to work out this year's depreciation is work out how much is left in the cost. So we had 81,000, we took off 21,000, so that brings us down to um, 60,000 of the original cost, plus we've bought another asset costing 24,000 pounds. So if we had the T account 
for cost, that would show us a balance of 84,000. So 81 minus 21 plus 24. In the provision for depreciation, we had 45, but we've taken 12,000 pounds, if you remember, off to the disposal account. So we're now left with 33,000 pounds in depreciation. So one minus the other gives us the net book value that we need to work with. So what we've we got there, 51, thousand pounds if we divide that by three which is the same as multiplying it by 33 and a third don't do that don't put 33.3 percent in your calculator just find the net book value divide by three 51 divided by three i think is seventeen thousand pounds so the depreciation that's going off to the income statement on the 30th of april 2018 we're going to credit this provision for depreciation and debit the income statement so seventeen thousand pounds goes in there. So at the end of the year, we can do a BAL CD, balance this account off. So 45, so what have we got there? 12, 62,000 pounds there. So that gives us a balance of 50,000. And then 1st of May, 2018, BAL BD, 50. Thousand pounds, which is the thirty-three thousand plus the seventeen thousand um, that we've added this year, and obviously the disposal account has already been balanced off, so we've already sorted that one out. There is a part two to this question, which is not to do with um, depreciation or disposals, but this is about the inventory ledger account. Now, the inventory is a bit of a bizarre one because, if you remember, opening inventory comes forward from last year's statement of financial position. So, this inventory at the first of May. 2017 is a debit balance because it's come off of the statement of financial position as an asset. I'll put the wrong month in there. May is the 5th. So the BAL BD is £8,650. Now that's going to be transferred to the income statement as a debit balance. That's going to be opening inventory. So when we get to the end of the year, 30th of April 2018, off to the income statement, the opening inventory there. 8,650. So that's wiped out the opening inventory. And then what we need to do is make a second transfer to the income statement for closing inventory. So closing inventory is going to be credited to cost of sales. It's going to be debited here. So opening, oh, sorry, opening income statement, 12,440, which gives us a balance carried down of 12,440. We can add those two up together. I'm going to use my calculator for this one. 8650, 2190, in there. And then we must remember to bring the balance down at the start of the next year. So 1st of May 2018, BAL BD. And we start the whole process again. That's going to be your opening inventory next year. And make sure you bring the balance brought down down because that's where you get the mark. You won't get a mark for this one generally you get a mark for the BAL BD. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video.